Zoe's parents say that she's still active on social media, even reaching out to her best friend and boyfriend saying she is safe, but they're still urging her to come back home. I mean, the feeling of it is, 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 is not only heartbreaking, I mean, it, it, it feels, it feels that she's gone. Thursday night, 14-year-old Zoe Cantu left her house. Her parents and family have not heard from her since. Yeah, it's not her at all. She's not like this. Zoe's parents say that night they got into an argument. They asked Zoe to give up her cell phone, and she refused. Just an hour later, she had a bag packed and headed to the car scene here, a four-door dark gold or brown Nissan Altima. Her dad, Juan, said she put the bag in the back seat and then got in on the passenger side. We're in a lot of pain. Law enforcement says since she willingly got into the car, she's considered a runaway. Juan disagrees, saying his daughter's in danger no matter how she left. A 14-year-old being away from home, not knowing who she's with, where she's at, uh, being vulnerable, I think that, that that's enough. Adding it's one of the most gut-wrenching feelings he's ever had. So if I'm driving down the street, I mean... I'm looking, I'm looking in the ditches, I'm looking everywhere because I don't know what, she's a beautiful little 14 year old girl and anything can happen. However, on Saturday, they said they got a little hope. Her parents said Zoe had messaged one of her best friends saying she was in San Antonio, also telling her boyfriend that she is safe and okay. They say they don't know if that's true, but it's something and they still want her to come home. Baby girl. We're Please not just upset. come home. We're not mad at you at all. <laughs> We're not upset. <laughs> just come home. Please. We love you very much. If you know any information on Zoe's whereabouts, her parents ask you to please either reach out to them or law enforcement. Reporting to you in Del Valley, Casey Bowen, Fox 7 Austin News.